the Black Lives Matter, which was developed by three black women, Alicia Garza, Patrice Cullors, Opa Tometi, who are also my comrades and friends, didn't necessarily create that because they needed white people to believe it. Right. It was, a, it was an act of self-affirmation in the same way that black power was, that this was a way of saying to each other, look, in a system where we know <laughs> they are very clear about deeming us worthless, we know and we will name for ourselves that we are actually worthy. Um, worthy of, of, of equitable uh, treatment, worthy of equity, material equity in terms of rights, worthy of living and not to be deadened by police or vigilantes or others who can go off with impunity. How many times have we interpreted the many Jerichos in our world as sites of pillage and victory and not theft and victimization? Ferguson is Jericho. The poorest hood in Toronto is Jericho. Palestine is Jericho. Indigenous land is Jericho. The bodies of our trans sisters of color is Jericho. Black people in white racial supremacist heteropatriarchal cultures are Jericho. And no longer can we believe the lie that we are honoring God and each other by pushing forward deadly theologies that lift up the oppressors occupying forces, violent nation states, and celebrates the fall and death of the oppressed, the accused, the victimized, all in the name of God. Your name, your name. And if our preached words do not err on the side of justice for the oppressed, then we are not preaching Christ's gospels, but the empire's version of the story. Um, and that we are still, and it's, what that is though is the traces of a deeply entrenched imperialist um, and colonialist um, culture um, that, that many, called, many of us uh, around the world have been, had this sort of, this archetype maybe literally beaten into our consciousness. Some of us have become well known only because we were killed by police. And our lives are now celebrated under the guise of a hashtag. Thinking about my While our killers, George Zimmerman, Officer Darren Wilson, and others live freely. Um, and, you know, so I'm, I'm excited to, to, to be here in Toronto in the name of black love, and yes, I am okay with saying black love in a world that has been insistent on providing, uh, creating spaces of lovelessness for black people.